Okay, here's a uh, video update on the damage my six panel solar tracker incurred with uh, Hurricane Irma. Everybody's reports out here are the same. We had over 120 mile an hour wind gusts. I had this uh, solar tracker in the tabletop position. As you can see, it took a good beating. It's the uh, super struts that bent the um, actuator arm pulled out of the mount here let this actuator slip down which allowed the tracker to come over and flop all the way down against here and repeatedly bang the hell out of itself and they gotta get out here and tighten these bolts they came loose and also up here, I don't know if you can see it this bracket bent and the actuator is no good and the actuator on that one is no good also that one uh, took less of a beating because it only had four panels on it I took the four little panels off before I left when I evacuated from the hurricane and ha I had enough time and help to remove the older three panel solar trackers so they're in the garage, I gotta take them apart. And as you can see, that was the damage. The mechanism itself is fine. So that's that's impressive. It's not every day I can report on a 120 mile an hour wind incident. It snapped the bolts off here in the pole that was securing it. Sure did, broke them right off. As you can see, the pole worked out good because I had people tell me these poles weren't strong enough. So, I guess they were wrong, huh? Not my first time building things. So I'm gonna have to uh, straighten this out a bit. I'm gonna put one of my later design uh, mounts here. They come down about here and they enable the use of single axis, dual axis. So I guess I got lucky. I didn't lose any solar panels, but um, the super struts, which were the small ones, not the big heavy duty ones. So you got to use the big heavy duty ones. I don't know if they would have fared any better. I'm just amazed it's still here and, and it didn't disintegrate because it must have been slapping around. As I said, it was all the way down here against the pole, banging against the pole when I got home after the hurricane. So that's just a little upgrade, uh, update on the uh, solar tracker damage. I have to see what I'm going to get paid for. I talked to the insurance guy Monday morning. I still haven't heard anything from him. Real nice guy. But uh, I've got like an off the wall insurance company because I had to go in the insurance pool because when I put my house on the market I had no insurance on it. I was self insured and when you do that in Florida nobody will give you insurance. You have to go into the insurance pool and see who will take you. It's a Florida thing. So we got to see how they're going to treat me. Definitely need a new roof and the rest of the house fixed and just a lot of damage but happy with the solar tracker. I didn't expect to see either one of these here. So that's the update on the six panel solar tracker. I'm quite pleased with the way it held up. It's been through numerous 70 mile an hour incidents with uh, no damage at all. And it's getting ready to rain here for the next day and a half so I thought I'd do some videos. Again, the, that one there had uh, really no damage except for the actuator, and everything came loose on it. All right, that's the update on the solar trackers. Hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.